All right, so another thing that we love to do here on the story is take a little trip down into the KGW vault. Sorry for doing this. KGW has been a part of the community since the 1950s, so we frankly have a lot of old video. It's fun to look through. And on November 21st, 1962, we aired an hour-long documentary called Pollution in Paradise, produced by a gentleman you may know named Tom McCall. Five years later, Tom McCall, of course, went on to become Oregon's 30th governor. And because of the documentary's themes, because a lot of them are so relevant, we wanted to take a trip back into the KGW vault and revisit pollution in paradise. Clean water and clean air are imperatives of life itself. They are central to our agricultural and industrial economy, to our recreation and to our ability to grow as a healthy and prosperous nation. Unchecked pollution of water and air could menace the very foundations of our society and in many parts of our nation. The threat is more actual now than prospective. More pressures to pollute will intensify as our population moves toward the 200 million mark and our country penetrates deeper into what is in effect a second industrial revolution. There is still an America that is wild and clean and beautiful. But there is also a dying dream of America where the waters are poisoned by the wastes of man and the breeze is strangled by the fires and fumes of civilization. No part of America still retains more of nature's original work than the state of Oregon, a paradise for those who treasure the unspoiled in sight, in smell, and sound. But who are these foul strangers in Oregon's paradise? At scores of such places along the rivers of Oregon where filth-loaded water pours from cities and from factories, the scrap fish gather, and their presence betrays water made sick and weary, water in which only the scavenger thrives. Oregon, the verdant land, where a thousand streams bring water plentiful and clean and make possible a bounty that a nation must envy. But raw sewage on a suburban street breeds disease like hepatitis, and serve shocking notice that the days of paradise may be numbered. The air of Oregon can be as sweet and fresh as its waters, but the very jobs they draw soil the air above and the waters below in numbers and ways faster than present planning and prevention can match. In government and in industry, men and dollars are put to work to keep Oregon's advantage. But in many places and in many ways, the effort is not enough, so that filth fallout costs you dollars and health. Oregon's future, in terms of payrolls and a way of life envied from afar, rides on the major resources of water and air. Resources already blighted by pollution. Resources you and I must not permit to be engulfed, lest the story of Oregon's destiny tragically be told in terms of pollution in paradise. That music blew me away. You know what, honestly, comment, email us, and tell me what you thought of that music. I thought that was really interesting. We were talking about it as it was playing. Uh, by the way, that documentary launched cleanup efforts of the Willamette River, and it set the stage for Oregon's reputation as an environmental haven. And later, as governor, Tom McCall would pass Oregon's beach bill, keeping our coastlines publicly owned, as well as the bottle bill. And McCall's cleaning up the Willamette River is a big reason why the Tom McCall Waterfront Park bears his name. The entire Pollution in Paradise documentary is available on the KGW YouTube channel right now. It is a great history lesson, as you can see, and it's a blast from the past. Uh, while you're checking it out, I really hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.